Hey guys and girls, everybody, how's it going? Fun Mod 14 here, and we're back with another episode of Ranking Challenge, of course. Flaming Sword Battle! Yeah! I accidentally just opened my Xbox right here, <laughs> but the door is blocked. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie! Alright, and I'm gonna scoot you guys back. Be a little tilted as always, but uh... <laughs> tilted, dude. I should start making a few tilted jokes, but uh... Nah. <laughs> Alright, that was a quick warm up, and let's continue. So, I got a couple things to show you guys today. How you guys doing? I am, uh, man, I, I'm not gonna lie, man, I'm, I'm feeling pretty horrible today. Bit of a hangover. <laughs> so, if we go to the deck, last time we got to, um, five wins. Now, in this game, Whenever you achieve five wins, I don't know if you guys can see it, well, hopefully, but, well, I'll just point it out. You see on the left side of the screen here, right, hi guys, right here, <coughs> um, it says a really long word, and it says, uh, reincarnation. Now, this is something I've always really, really loved about this game. So what is reincarnation? Well, basically what it is is if you choose to reincarnate and you do it with the L3, which is this, the left trigger stick, this one, you have to press it in like, like that. Um, now reincarnate, I'm not going to reincarnate that. What it will do is it will basically, um, for lack of a better word, it will destroy, so to speak, one card, right? Uh, and you can only do it with cards in your trunk. Yeah, so like if I wanted to reincarnate Komori Dragon here, uh, won't let me do it. Um, but I wouldn't want to do that anyway. I'm just showing for an example. Um, but what is reincarnation too? Well, it basically turns one card into, um, three. And that's pretty cool. Um... What do you know? What we have three copies of Zaragon. Now here's, um, you, what? How shall I say this? Um, you can get some pretty, really good cards if you reincarnate around like you see this Rose Spectre. You can get some pretty good cards around forty deck cost. Um, but you can also get really good cards really regardless of um what deck costs you choose to reincarnate because for example like all these spells and traps here you see negate attack 15 um even aqua course 10 power of kai shin 10 um it's just like yeah so um and also there are effect monsters of course um for example amoeba pretty good effect monster and its deck cost is level 12 so um, I'm actually going to, yeah, in Fury Seeking, again, we use it quite a bit, 20 deck cost. Uh, I'm going to reincarnate Zarigon. Uh, the reason why, we have three of it, and, um, I don't really think I'll save, normally, now what you want to normally do on reincarnate is save right before you do it, right? Which, I just started this up, so. And then if you don't really get anything that you want or need, you can just kind of reset. Um, ooh, not bad at all. Alright, so that's our first reincarnation. Uh, we did get one effect monster, Queen's Double. Uh, increases Princess of Sarugi when flip face up. Uh, and pretty good, we got two female cards, uh, a warrior and dancing elf. And we also got Griggle. Um, I actually really like uh, Griggle. I used it in quite a few fusions uh, back in the day. Uh, I'm totally fine with this reincarnation, so we're going to let it stand. If I wanted to, I could uh, simply basically press circle, you know, reset, and uh, just kind of try again. But uh, 
Uh, also, I need to add Man Eater Bug Cocoon of Evolution to our deck. A uh, Starboy, I think I'll finally get rid of. No, 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 not Starboy. Uh, sorry, I'll get rid of. Um, there's some other cards I need to get rid of in this deck. Uh, oh, Night Lizard, man. Yeah, I think I'll get rid of one Night Lizard. Liquid Beast. Uh, I think there's. Yeah, Connie Kabuto, I'll get rid of that. And, um. Tell you what, let's get rid of a couple more cards. Let's just let's just use this chance to clean out our inventory. So, what cards do we not really use in this deck? Aquamador, pretty good actually for the defense. I like it. Um, but what cards do we not really ever use? Now, last episode, a couple of my hands were chock full, and um, I like flying penguin. I had like a copy of those, a couple of those, and Liquid Beast, uh, Night Lizard, not really ever going to use you, buddy. So that leaves us with six cards? Three? Uh, let's also get rid of Penguin Soldier. Uh, I never really use its effect, uh, because I don't have a Penguin Knight, so let's, uh, put it to the side. Um, do I really need two Flying Penguin? Eh, ah, sure, why not? Or just one? Eh, you know what, let's get rid of that one, too while we're at it, and, uh, okay, that leaves us with 687. Okay, I think I can work with that. So we got eight cards to fill, and I'm actually gonna put in Manager Bug, Griggle, uh, because Griggle, uh, confused with a Fiend, much like, uh, and this is why I like Griggle, it confused with a Fiend, much like this tentacle plant, and form a uh, Rose, Specter of the Dun, for a fusion. Um, I'm also going to throw in these female cards, uh, Dancing Elf and Queen's Double, because if you fuse a female with a plant, you get another pretty good fusion. Again, one of that cocoon. Uh, what else do we want? Let's go to deck cost. Uh, I guess I could put back in Starboy. I didn't mean to get rid of him, so where's, where's Starboy? Oh, and I only have... Oh, dude, that's right, I took out both Kyrushin to fit the deck cost. Well, let's definitely put that pack in. Uh, and where is Starboy? Starboy, where are you, my boy? I guess I could put in Block Attack. It's, it's okay, you know. Um, Starboy, there you are. Yeah, uh, Starboy's fine. And I got one more card. And wow, I think I can put in Kyrushin, right? I think... Let's see. Let's let's try it. Let's look at the deck costs. What's Weevils? 854? I fought him a couple times, but I haven't really memorized his uh, stats. Well, anyway, that was a long deck edit session. Yes, and it's 854. Awesome. So with that, we kind of got rid of, uh, I don't know, just a few of the cards we don't really, you know, use or fuse. And we added back more of our good stuff, like Kyrushin and... Uh, some new stuff, like Man Eater Bug, so let's try it out. Uh, can we still beat Weevil with our deck? I don't know. Let's see. Nah, I think we're fine. Let's do it. It's time. Dude, have I even said that line once? I don't think I have. Shame on me. Oh no, you attacked my victory. And this is Kamakiri Man. Alright. Uh, 1,600. It's 50, huh? Well, Giant Red Sea Snake can easily beat you. But I'm gonna go with Man Eating a Black a Shark. Now, my Man Eating Black Shark, sick your fangs into this victim. <laughs> I need a drink. That was a lot of talking on that, uh, intro, so, yeah. <sighs> Drink some red Kool-Aid, by the way. We just call it red. Nice, and I have a feeling man-eating black shark is probably going to rank up here pretty soon. Because we use it quite a lot, you know what I mean? If you tend to use a card a lot or draw it, uh, and, you know, it wins fights, which it just did, seems to rank up pretty... Huh. Is this a man-eater bug? 
feels like it might be. Ooh. Nice. And guys, for the first time in this LP, we drew the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Dun, 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 dun. Is this a man eater bug? Let's find out. No, it's... Oh my god. That's... Not a man eater bug. Alright, another fight won. Ah... <sighs> I really do like the animation. I, I haven't really talked about the animations or the art or the style, but man, I really, really, really like the animations in this game. It's just so well done. The colors, and it's PlayStation 2, guys. PlayStation 2, but the colors are just so vivid and so bright, and um, even the taunting and, you know, um, I just, man... Uh, the animation is just, and you guys will see one of my favorite animations, I think, in the school, because, uh, hopefully we'll attack with Blue Eyes here soon, yeah. You activated my truck card. Tears of the Birdmaid will blind your big insect and trap him for a turn. Alright, shark, move forward. And now, guys, prepare to see what I promised one of the many animations I want to show in this game. <laughs> Yuki, prepare to face the wrath of my Blue Eyes White Dragon! Blue Eyes, attack! White Lightning! Dun, 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 dun. Oh man, this is gonna be epic, I love it. Just sit back and watch. to the sky! Destroy that satellite cannon now! <laughs> Yuki, your power will never match that of mine, and my blue eyes will never be defeated. Oh, what's that, Weeble? Were you talking? <clears throat> oh, what's that, Weeble? Were you talking? Hang on a second. Let me pretend to be interesting. <laughs> Jesus, you two. Why would they want to do that? Alright, let's go with Furious Sea King, Flip Summon. Alrighty. I don't know what this card is, but it wasn't a trap, so maybe it was something strong enough on forest, but not strong enough in water, so let's, let's oh, okay. Well played, Weevil, well played. So, this card, Nightmare Scorpion, what does it do? Let's check the details. Spellbinds, opposing, and there's a lot of cards with this flip effect. For one turn, when flipped, face up in battle. So, that kind of sucks, but it's okay. We're still... I don't think Weevil's going to come back from this, guys. Uh... <laughs> okay, we're good. Got me a little scared there for a second, Weevil. Using that power increase. Alright, let's lay down... Uh... Die of Truth here. And let's move King right here. And I kind of want to keep Weevil in this corner. That's good. Um, I'm just going to leave Blue Eyes here. I could attack that, but then this space right here would be open for him to summon. And then he could just move two and attack. So basically, let's skip this turn and free up our manning light sharp. That's really what I'm doing here. I think we just won. Yeah, good job, Weevil. Uh, Blue Eyes Obliterate? My crush. Um, okay. Well, uh, Nightmare Scorpion 900. Okay. You know what? I never thought I'd say this, but White Dolphin, I'm going to summon it by itself, and it's going to win a battle. 
I don't think I've ever seen this thing's animation. Let's watch. <laughs> it's probably something really cute. Go, blue eyes, white dolphin! Horn attack! That wasn't really horn attack, it was more like, I'm a fire and my laser. Oh, that was cool. That was cool, that little swim. I see that white dolphin. Man, look at white dolphin's art though. Like, do you see this thing's picture? It looks kind of... Evil! 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 <laughs> Well, Weevil, you surrendered, and we win. So nice. Uh, we got to uh, summon Blue Eyes right after we put him in our deck, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you know what? I haven't tried for three in a row in a while. Let's try for that, because there aren't really any trap cards I want here, so let me pay attention. Hang on, guys. Just sh 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 for a second. Hang on. Let me pay attention. Okay. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I missed it. Okay. Well, at this point, <laughs> anything else will work. Uh, because I don't want fake trap and I don't want that big insect. How about that card? Let's see. Okay, that works. I tried to get that nightmare scorpion, but uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, oh, someone messaged me on my phone here, guys, hang on, and I'm recording on my phone, so, just one second, let's see, let's see what they said here, oh, okay, uh, I think we're good, are we still live, are we recording, hey, we are, that's cool, never knew I could really do that on this phone, but apparently I can, uh, check, uh, Facebook messages and the recording won't end. So that's cool. That's really cool, actually. Alrighty. Um. Oops. Sorry, guys. Just gonna set you back down. Face down in defense mode. Uh, did I get a card I want to put in my deck? Uh, not really. Alright, Weevil. Round six. Fight. Finish. Oh, I see what happened, though. I did kind of put you guys a little more to the... I see what I did wrong. I need to scoot you guys to the right, right? No, no. Dude, what the... I just messed up the angles while I did. There we go. Hey. Sorry, working on my cinematography here. Might as well while I'm let's playing, right? Uh... Oh, nice. We got our deck leader, guys. Alright, so let's just place her face down. And I will end my turn. Let's see if we will be dumb enough to run into it. I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, he's, he's moving. He's moving forward. Moving on up to the east side. Huh, do a fiend and warrior fuse? I don't think so. Machine... Oh, no, these two fuse. These two fuse, I think. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure those two fuse. All right, let's set down Eye of Truth. Actually, he only played one card from his hand. Let's just play Eye of Truth. Um, I never really play it this early, but I kind of want to build the summoning level. Let's see. Oh, Blade Fly. Oh, watch out, guys. He has the Cocoon of Evolution already. Okay. Hey, that's good to know, actually. So I might need to rush this guy if he fuses... Uh, he also has Hunter Spider. Don't know if you guys saw that, but Hunter Spider has 1,600, which in, a pro in itself isn't a problem. But here on the forest, it'll have 2,100. Um, so, you know, if he plays a power up on that, it goes to 2,600. That's a pretty good amount of power, so we gotta watch out for that. But uh, other than that, we should be okay. Go, my maiden, defend yourself from the dung cannon attack. Dude, that is such a nasty move. No pun intended. Well done, my maiden. And that should help 
increase her experience points a bit since she um, defended and won a battle. And also now she's faced up using her effect, so that should also help to raise her uh, 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 ranking. Uh, does she have a leader ability yet? Oh, by the way, last time I meant to explain leader ability. So, if you check the details of your card, you see it's one lieutenant, special info, power up, leader ability. Uh, there's nothing right here. For now, viewers, for now. Um, if you, um, I'll just say it. Let, let's say you get your... Uh, monster to like seven stars or eight stars. Um, once you achieve a, uh, and this is probably his hunter spider right here. Yeah, probably. So I'm actually going to move Aquamador here, uh, just in case it is. But once you, nice, nice, nice. Okay, so move this here. Play this. And this should fuse, right? Yes. Fusion Rose Spectre of Dunn. But yeah, uh, once you... I, I called it. I called it. That was Hunter Spider. Good call, Josh. You saved your Aquamador and made him lose 400 points. But yeah, once... Uh, get to the point, Josh. Point, point, point. So once your Aquamador... I'm... You're all... <laughs> cringe, bro. Cringe. Just... Just... Okay, I'm just gonna... Tawashi Fire! Dude, how cool is Rose, though? She, like, sucks the soul out of that monster and then just kind of charges her attack like... Like it's a cup Kamehameha or something. She's just, like, holding it in one hand. Like, uh, Bam! Oh, Spirit Ball! Dude, Spirit Bomb! That's the attack Rose uses, man! It's a Spirit Bomb! Oh my god! Goku's gonna use the Spirit Bomb! <coughs> Krillin's so loud when he did, when he says that. He's like, the spirit bomb is the only thing that can defeat Frieza! And he's like yelling it. <laughs> Alright. Back to what I was saying. Okay, leader abilities, leader abilities. Let me just say this. Once your monster achieves, and each monster is different, each ability is different, uh, well, yeah. I will explain leader abilities better in a later episode. But, if your monster achieves... Uh, where we are right now, one lieutenant, it may already have an ability, which is good. Uh, abilities do nothing but help you try to achieve abilities as much as possible. Um, there are ways to look up what abilities your card can potentially have, and um, some abilities are actually, as far as I know, still unknown. One of those abilities is Reptile cards. Uh, the reason for that being, I don't know if you guys remember, but about seven episodes ago, uh, when we were doing the like tutorial section, I did, uh, yeah, that episode, the Reptile deck and why it sucks. Well, one of the things I have yet to see is someone take a low-level reptile type, and by low-level, I mean, like, something like White Dolphin. You know, that's pretty low-level uh, for a fish. And uh, But for someone to take a really, really low-level reptile and get it to the max rank, to my knowledge, um, the Yu-Gi-Oh! community still needs confirmation on its abilities. Because, just because no one's done it. I mean, why would you, right? I mean... You guys have heard my thoughts on the Reptile deck, so why why waste your time? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I don't know. Hey, play fly, winged cleaver! Dude, is that air cutter? That was just an air cutter attack. You stole that from uh, Skarmory. Dude, but Skarmory is way more badass than you will ever be, Bladefly. Actually, I'm kind of halfway joking about that. Bladefly is actually a good monster. Not gonna lie. Um, I've used it in quite a few of my decks. Uh, in one of my decks, I used it in a Harpy Lady deck. 
And the reason why is I will show you. So let's move rows here. Okay, good, no trap. Um, but look at its effect. Weevil doesn't really use it well. While this card is fa in the fifth position, all wind monsters gain a 500 point power boost. So let's say you have like two of these, and as you guys know, Harpy Ladies are all wind type. That's a thousand extra points. That's pretty good. Uh, Weevil is pretty stupid with it though, because he sends it out to attack. That's not very smart. Um, yeah, let's dump this fake trap and play Starboy. And Starboy here is getting two boosts, one from Maiden of the Aqua and one from here on Sea Terrain. And now he'll get his own boost. Star Shower Effect Hostile. And now, Starboy, it's time for the Mario theme. I can't believe I just did that. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Let the memes begin. <laughs> Alright, that'll end my turn. <laughs> Man, I love this LP, guys. I'm like... <laughs> uh, Alright, that's enough, Josh. Settle down. Settle down. Alright, can we win soon? Uh, enough weevil. Enough playing around. Can we win? What? What? Oh, they get a take. Okay. Well, that explains why he moved that right here. Um, uh, let's see what we got. Ooh. Kairushin, eh? Very well. Kairushin attack. And this won't finish him off, but... Or will it? No. But it will put a nice dent in his points. Well, guys, looks like this will be the last episode for today. Or, I mean, for this recording. Did I say last episode? I think what I meant to say is, I think this will be the last duel. There we go. I think this will be the last battle of the episode. Uh, cause we are at 20, 30 minutes, so, uh, yep. I might have to continue this in part two. By the way, I've been trying not to do that, have part twos, because... Um, well, really, it just makes it harder on me. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, if we're just totally being honest here. Uh, yeah. So... Mainly in the editing process is what makes it hard, but... Yeah. What? Oh. Nice. Okay, Weevil. You're not special. I have one of those, too! Now he's gonna use the spirit bomb. But you can't use it, Weevil. You're evil! It doesn't work! Go on! Bounce it back! Although, I suppose the Spirit Bomb is blue, so maybe... I don't know. Maybe it's the Spirit Bomb for plant types, because it's green. Heh. <laughs> green. Heh. <laughs> 420. Heh. <laughs> Dank memes. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Rose Spectre of Dunn. <laughs> she looks like she gets high. <laughs> Dude, what the heck is wrong with me, man? <laughs> Uh, all right, so I can do 300 right there, or I could just win. I activate my magic car, Aqua Chorus. Raise the points of all my water monsters now. Now go, Kairushin. Flood her heart with endless agony and wipe out her life points. Tidal Surge! Screech! Tidal Surge Attack! But why?
twinkle. Hey, wait, are we still recording? Oh, we are. Wow. I'm shocked. Well, uh, good. We win. So, no cuts. Um, if I need to, I will let you guys know what cards I want in the slot machine in the next episode. So, probably nothing too special. So, anyway, let's do it. Um, oops. Three in a row. Let's try it. Oh, well, at least we got that. I guess I'll try for negate attack. No, oh, no, I'll try for Rose. Yeah. That's one. Bam. Got it. All right. And those are the cards we won. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Wow. Huh. Surprised I got all that in. Now loading. <laughs> Dude, how cool is that? That's just a, like a wall of cards right there. Yes. I will overwrite that data. Baby. Shoutouts to KA6 to the scope, man. One of the best LPers in the business. <laughs> the business. Nice. Do do. Ow. Whew, man. That was awesome. <sighs> Bye.